Hi there. It's been, hi there. It's been a while since I've done a uh, Facebook Live video. Uh, so here I am. Uh, this experience is weird. When it started, I said to myself, you've got to work really hard to keep really busy every single day. You will write every day, you will paint every day, you will, uh, you know, uh, make a show and, and, and just do everything daily. Um, and that doesn't seem to be how things are working. I've made three paintings, four paintings. I've done no real writing. Um, I have projects on the hook that I haven't gotten to. Um, there's a, um, a model kit that Jake and I uh, have barely started. There's uh, games to play. There's books to read. Um, all the things I thought I would desperately need to get by are um, still undone uh, because I think in part I'm tired all the time being tense and anxious and depressed makes me tired all the time and while I can shake it or cope with it in in short bursts and it's not ungenuine those moments um, it's still there like a toothache uh, and so i'm tired i run out of steam part way through the day like i i have no no brain left to do anything more for the day and i look at the clock and i kind of moan because it's only two in the afternoon and i think that's why i nap and that's why i've been doing so much walking um I, I do a lot of walking, and it eats time as well as miles. Uh, you know, it's, it's a healthy outlet, and I... It's, it's something I do in part because it eats time. Because I need the time to pass so that I can go to bed because I don't have the focus to work on a puzzle. I don't have the focus to um, watch a movie. Um, I, I love reviewing movies, and it is some days a struggle uh, just to watch the movie, much less write, a, write about it. Um, and honestly, the writing it is, is the easier part. I, I, I can have the tab open and just sit there glaring at me all day for multiple days. I get a lot of joy out of socializing with the rats, and that is a chore most days. Um, like, okay, I've got to have that as rats. Um, and a lot of good stuff is really hard to do right now. And a lot of the, the sort of hopeful and optimistic stuff, uh, I, I, I kind of promised myself at the start is, is going undone. Um, and, and some things I've committed to are, are um, going undone or at least delayed. Uh, you know, I've got work to do, um, some of it even paying work. Um, and that's a struggle too sometimes. Um, So, yeah, looks like no one's tuning in this time. Um, so, I guess I'll keep this one short. I'll, uh, I'll see you around. Um, and if I'm not engaging as much as it seems like I should, it's probably because I'm tired. I'm, uh, oh, hi, Kitty. Someone did chime in. Um,
I uh, today I discovered that the the, um, the trash and recycling didn't get picked up. Um, usually, it's the neighbor who puts them out, which is big help. Uh, but an end result of that is when they don't, we don't think to. Um, so uh, another thing is that the neighbors don't compress their trash or recycling at all. So all their four containers completely full and it's going to be a week before the next trash pickup. Um, and, and I kind of had a breakdown over it in, in the driveway. Um, I'm, I'm keeping it together, but I think the, the skin of normalcy is pretty thin. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I thought if I started the video, I might come up with something to say, but mostly it's just, um, if you're having this experience, let me know because a lot of us are posting about our productivity and our creativity. Um, and, um, and that's wonderful and valid. Um, and some of us are, are posting about our hardships and that's wonderful and valid. Um, but I don't see a lot of the, the creative, positive people also saying that they're still struggling. Um, I'm still struggling. It's almost normal now. And I, 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 I think that's terrible. And... I'm not optimistic that um, we'll be back to normal on May 1st. Not optimistic about that at all. Um, the, the, the restrictions lift. It's not going to be normal for a long time or ever. Uh, in the same way that 9-11 changed air travel forever, uh, this is going to change something, how we congregate, how business works. Um, honestly, I hate it, but it's probably going to increase car traffic because people aren't going to want to be on the sidewalks. Um, although I'm really enjoying how the reduced traffic is, has improved the uh, air quality. I'm usually pretty good at finding the, the silver lining, the, the, the bright side, the outlook. Um, and it's genuine when I do. It absolutely is genuine when I do. But it's still work just to exist right now. And all the things I collected to help me survive, I'm not using because I don't have the, the energy, I don't have the focus because I'm tired all the time. So when I go for walks, I take naps, I watch British game shows on YouTube, it passes the time until I can go to bed. Not a real uplifting one today, folks, um, but uh, that's what I had to share. Um, on the plus side, here are some things that are going on for me that are good. Uh, Dreamscapes has not laid anyone off, and we are still working. Um, there's a lot more work from home than I think anyone expected. We're doing a lot of uh, organizational stuff and planning. Um, the goal is to be ready to open again on the 1st of May if we can. And if we can't, then we'll still have done all the getting ready. So we're already ready for whenever we can. Uh, Fear Factory is doing pretty much exactly the same thing. We're getting ready for our halfway to Halloween um, if we can open, we'll open, and if we can't, all that preparation will still be good work. Um, I'm, uh, once again, focusing on training. Hi, Mel's kid, <laughs> and Mel. 
uh, focusing on training at the haunted house, um, which brings me some joy. Um, I that that that's I think that's where my strength lies. Um, what else? Uh, so uh, at this time we're doing some uh, in-house video training, which is kind of fun. I shot part of one today in the cemetery. Um, Repo the Genetic Opera is being postponed to set, uh, end of August, I think. I'm not going to announce dates because it's not my announcement to make. Um, but I've auditioned to be in it this time. Uh, it's been a while. I used to do it every year for a couple couple few years. Um, I probably still won't get to see Rocky Horror Picture Show this year, but um, damned if I can't be in Repo. Um, so there's that. That's cool. Uh, Horrorbuzz.com is still being great um, and doing movie reviews about one a week. Um, a little slower. Uh, working on the Easter special just ate my time and energy and as, as much of a joy as it was, I felt used up and I, I let a deadline go by. Um, <laughs> hello, Eric and kids. Um, but uh, they're still great, and there's there's still news from that angle. Um, the um, the Easter special uh, did really well. Over a hundred unique views. It looked like maybe about thirty watched the whole thing. Um, people put up with my my technical uh, issues with the the microphone, and people stayed for. Uh, a really wide range of not only talent but tone um, and if I'm hypercritical of myself uh, about anything it's that I don't feel like I arranged the show in a good order to take into account the tone of the pieces because there were some pieces I didn't fully review before um, before airtime because some stuff can't be late um, which, you know, um, that happens, um, and, and normally I, I would review and revise, uh, when that happens, and, and this time I just let it slide, and I'm probably the only one that feels this way, because that's, that's how that goes. Um, it was a good show, anyway, and, um, with any luck, the next time we have a show in person, we'll have a good turnout because of people who saw that show. I don't know if we're going to have a May show online or in person. Um, and if it is in person, I don't know how that process is going to be different from normal. Can we put the chairs farther apart? I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what will be different. Um, there are people in, in the UAA working out those details right now. And they'll they'll let us know, and we'll have to work out our own details because you know uh, UAA is our host, but it's still my show, our show, um, and I'll I'll you know I'll follow anyone else's guidelines, and maybe we need to make our own guidelines. Um, I don't know. Um, I've got a little bit of time. Uh, I hope some some uh, performers still want to play with me. Um, that has been a great force for good in my life, the Guns N' Rising shows. Um, it's been a great way to, to kind of um, build something bigger than myself. Um, and this shutdown has is, is kind of um, knocked that back some. Um, so I'm glad the, the, the online special went well. Um, uh, so, so there's good stuff, you know, there's stuff, stuff to do. There's stuff that's, um, productive, um, there's stuff going on. There's stuff that's creative stuff that that's, um, to my skills. Um, that's all, all great. And I can't 
quite keep up with everything because I'm so tired all the time. Um, before all this, about once a month or once every other month, I'd have a night where I, I was sort of like catching up on lost sleep and I'd like sleep a really long time, um, 10 hours, 12 hours, it's every once in a while. It's every third day or so now. And that doesn't affect whether I have a nap or not either. Not too long ago, it feels like a very short time ago, but it was actually a few years, I was in a very bad mental health place and didn't leave the house for hardly anything. Um, just for doctor's appointments, uh, I made myself go get the mail so I would leave the house just to walk up the driveway for long stretches of time. I, you know, when I wasn't working Fear Factory, I would not leave the house and I would have anxiety attacks being around crowds of any sort or, or strangers, which oddly enough, I could still manage Fear Factory, but that's, that's something weird about performing. And I was thinking today, I went to the grocery store and it was very anxious for me uh, because I'm not around that many people and, and there were, I mean, it wasn't even, it wasn't packed. It wasn't busy for a grocery store, um, but it was more people than I'm used to being around. And I felt really uncomfortable. And I felt like I was being thrown back into that bad place because it was such a familiar feeling. And it's different now because the fear is because of something. It's not internal, it's external. It, there, I really should be staying home all the time. I really should be avoiding crowds. Um, but it really pisses me off because that's exactly the work I was doing was to stop fucking doing that. Um, not much I can do except try not to lose hope. And um, utilize the, the tools and resources I have, which includes friends and it includes video cameras and uh, it includes Fear Factory and the Utah Arts Alliance and Horror Buzz and um, Gonza Rising and St. Josephine's um, in various ways are all helping me and I hope in some way, I am occasionally helpful to other people as well. Um, I, I think I might be, people have said. Um, and I, I just think people are less likely to lie to be polite right now. I don't know why I think that, but I do. <sighs> so, there's that. At least I'm allowed to get out of the house and walk alone. Pretty much every day now. It's good for me. If that stopped being allowed, I'm not sure how I would do or what I would do. Oh, and I'm working magic shows online. Um, this is the other gig. Um, I'm helping with, with some tech for, for an online magic show. And that's fun. Um, and I got my stimulus package today, and I haven't really spent any of it, um, despite having a very long wish list on Amazon. <clears throat> um, I'd rather spend it on local stuff, but all the local stuff I would spend it on is closed. Um, so I might go on a bender at, at Joanne. Uh, except it makes me really uncomfortable to shop there because they're they're so careful and it's it's lovely and and I, I'm sure their their customer base skews a bit on the older side and so it's good and, and they won't let more than twenty people in at a time and we're standing spaced out on the sidewalk waiting to be let in and that just is so anxiety causing I I'm not sure I even want to go there anymore until this is over. Um, but there's a place, a good walk by, that'll do curbside coffee. 
you, you call them and then they bring it out to you, which again is weird, but um, hi Sue. Sue's one of the good people in my life that's that's been making it better. She's with the, the UAA that I was talking about earlier. Uh, and they've been a godsend and they are um, uh, supportive and understanding. Uh, I think all of us um, as artists, as creatives, are struggling. And I think the organization is doing really good at, at helping its members. Um, and if I can't bring myself to work for a day because I'm just feeling terrible, they'll understand that. And if I need work because I'm driving myself crazy, they understand that too. Um, it's nice to have a, a workplace that's um, very understanding. Um, I've been very fortunate in that. Very fortunate. Um, so yeah. Um, and if anyone's out there um, kind of falling short, I don't always have the resources to be helpful. I mean, up here resources. Uh, but I'd be happy to buy you a pizza or something. I got stimulus. If that helps, or we could do a, a movie watch uh, together. Maybe the next time I have to watch a movie and I, I'm having trouble bringing myself to do it, I can find a way to, to, to um, phone a friend. Uh, yeah. So that's a little over 20 minutes. Um, only crying a little. So that's where I am at. There are lots of good things on a baseline of things being really shitty. And the really shitty is slowly becoming normal. And I hope it never finishes becoming normal because we need to come back from this. Uh, generally, on others of these, I've tried really hard to be positive and uplifting. Um, and I'm not sure if I've done that today. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I know some of you are struggling, and if it helps to know you're not alone, you're not, you're absolutely not, and if you don't think you should feel bad, because things are probably better than for other people, like, I feel like I should be less unhappy because I still have a job. I, I can afford food, um, but um, it's still hurting and I'm still coping. And I see people in my life hurting and I can't, I can't help sometimes. Usually now I can't. And, um, you know, if someone reaches out to me, I do the best I can, but there are people I, um, I sometimes fail at reading people, but I can tell when people are hurting, um, sometimes I don't even know how to begin to do anything to help. Buy a pizza now and then, I guess. Tip your delivery people. Tip your performers. Um, yeah, that's it.